Hello, this is Lewis with a video demonstrating how to configure predict mail for use with a data hub and an iPhone running iOS and Apple Mail. The first thing you should do is you should Wi-Fi connect to your data hub. Once Wi-Fi connected, navigate to URL 10.10.10.1 and log in as admin. The default password is admin unless you've follow the processes in the manual to change that. Once logged in, you navigate to the Predict Mail app. Uh, you will be required to have a Predict Mail email account before you can pr proceed. If you don't have one, you can follow the URL on the page to purchase a Predict Mail account and receive an email address, a username, and a password for your account. So at this point you should do that if you haven't done so already. Once you have your account information, proceed back to this form. You then, under the user account section, add your account. In my case, my email address is lsoltero at predictmail.com. Enter your password and type in your full name. Right. Then hit save and apply. Once you've completed that step, you will notice that you can enable the email. Uh, just go ahead and put a check mark there and hit save and apply. And at this point, the hub is now configured to use your Predict Mail account. The default settings should be adequate for most users, but I do want to go over some quick settings here. Um, under Transport, uh, you will notice that you have the selection between internet connection and if you have a GoExec that has been configured to use with the hub, uh, you'll see a selection for least cost routing. What that means is that Predict Mail will try to use a high speed internet connection first and if not available then will fail over. Also, if you have tracking enabled using a data a go exec you will notice under policy that you have uh, a selection for selecting sending emails or checking email on the schedule polling interval um, the default is to send emails immediately or to connect to the server and send your email immediately on receiving an email from your email client so you just create an email send it and then at that point the data hub will send a session to the server. That's only recommended really if you have a high speed internet. Um, you can select a polling interval which means that every few minutes um, the system will check to see if you've got an email on the server and send any emails that might be queued. Again, uh, if you've got an Iridium Go exec configured for tracking, um, you'll have this option to send an email on the polling interval. You can then also select manually starting and stopping uh, from a button. Uh, if you have a satellite connection, say a Fleet One or some other a low speed expensive satellite link, then uh, this might not be a bad option since you get to specify when it is that you want to have an email session occur. Now once you've done the setup, um, the uh, hub is configured, but um, we can go ahead and test to make sure that indeed the account information has been set up correctly. To do that, you need to have an internet connection to the hub. This can be through an Iridium Go exec or through a high-speed internet connection. Um, once configured, you can hit the connect button and that will do one of several things. It'll connect you to the internet so you'll know that indeed the Predict Mail is able to communicate with the servers. It'll also, also authenticate you against the server to make sure that your username, your account, is valid. And so you'll see here in the log files, for example, that we were able to log in with my username, which is my email address, 
Uh, there were no errors and I had no inbound email, I had no outbound email. So I was able to communicate with the server. If you hadn't been able to communicate to the server, you would have received an error. Also, if the username had been incorrect, um, you would have received an error. And of course, if the password had been incorrect, you would have received an error. So um, that's pretty much all there is to setting up the, um, the hub for mail. Note that we did have this connect button. So at any point you can establish a session by just pushing the connect button. You'll need to do that um, before you will receive any email or send an email, especially if you set the policy to manual. All right, now we'll move over to our iOS device and configure the email program to, um, to work with the hub. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that indeed your Wi-Fi connected to the hub. Indeed we are. And then you will navigate down in settings to the mail app. You will select accounts. You will add an account. And you will select other for your type account type. Then you'll select add mail account. You'll put in your name. You'll put in your PredictWin username, which is your email address. You will enter your password. And you will hit next after you've verified the information you've entered is correct. On the next screen, you will select POP. You will then enter your username, which is your email address. For the incoming mail server, and also for the outbound email server. For the host name, you will enter predictmail.com. For both the incoming server and for the outbound server. And finally, you'll enter a password for both the inbound and outbound mail servers. Hit save. The email app will verify the account. Which may take a few minutes. and your process is complete. At this point, you should probably go check your settings real quickly just to make sure that they're all okay. Everything looks good. Under SFTP, you wanna make sure that predict mail is turned on and that indeed there's a password set. And you should now be ready to send and receive email. Go to your iOS app. You can check your email. There is no email. And you can send an email test at predictmail.com, for example. And that pretty much completes our demonstration.